Hey, welcome to Amy's Workouts. Today we'll be doing a total body conditioning, abs, balance and core workout. You have the option of using some light weights. These can be dumbbells, cans of soup, water bottles, whatever you got to hand. Let's warm up. Side to side taps. Good. Now we're going to sweep the arm across as we tap. Lovely. So point the toes, twist the hip. So in this workout, I've incorporated quite a few ballet inspired moves and Pilates inspired moves to really encourage the core to be activated. We'll be doing lots of balancing as well as conditioning the total body. Good. So just keep sweeping the arms. We're going to move into some wide leg squats in a moment. Toes gently pointing out and just take a small squat. Down and up. Down and up. Now we're going to add the right arm overhead reach. Up and over, through the side. Get that little contraction through the obliques. Okay, we're going to move to the other side. Left reach. Great. So as you get warmer, you can take that squat a little deeper if that's right for you. Two more reaches here. And continue with the squat only. We're going to open and close the arms. Concentrate on using the upper back muscles to open the arms to the side. Use the front of the shoulders and chest to close the arms in. Four, three, two. After this one, we're going to hold and pulse. Take it down, pulse. Open the knees slightly back, chest is high, and left heel up. And down, right heel up. Doubles. Arms up two. Let's go. You've got to keep that core tight here for balance. Up and down. Up and down. Good. And well done. Have a break. Great job. Grab some water. Back to that side to side tap. And let's just turn to the left, little transition, keep tapping. Now keeping the right leg behind us, we're going to raise the right arm and the right leg together. So same arm and same leg comes up and reaches. Point the toes. Good. Make sure you've got a little bend in that standing leg. I'm working through the left leg. Now you don't have to go high. Make sure you're lifting rather than kicking. Good. Last one here. And take it back to the centre and into that little squat pulse. Bring the arms in. Good. Imagine hugging that beach ball. Okay. Come up. Arms come wide again and we're going to circle alternating legs. Use the arms. Think about that inner thigh as you bring the leg across, tapping the toe down. Last three, two, and one. Tap it out, great. So we're gonna do the other side. So transition, turn to the right. So our right leg is gonna support us and we're gonna lift the left leg and arm just the same as we did before, but the other side. So squeeze it up, focus the eyes on a spot and keep that balance, tummy nice and tight. Working through the core, <laughs> a little bit wobbly on this side. Good, nice long reach. Remember to point the toes and reach with the fingertips. Good, and tap it out, lovely. Good, so take the legs wide, we're going back to that little squat pulse. Arms are wide, 
and take it down. Let's take it back to that alternating leg circle set one more time with the arms. Good, so circle. So as you know what you're doing this time, you can make it a little bit more elegant. Nice big sweep of the arm as that leg crosses over. Walk it out, fantastic. Take a little break and you've got the option now of using some weights in the next section. So I'm going to be using one kilogram dumbbells and our first move is a squat reach. Legs come wide, palms face forward, come down for two, pull back, scoop under and up. Bend your elbows right behind you, use your back. Good. And breathe. Exhale and inhale. So coming up, we've got the option of stepping it up. We're going to do eight double time. Seven, six, five, four, three, only two more. Last one. And we hold it down and pulse. It's not over yet. Good. Keep going. Now shifting into a lunge position, turning to the left, turn the hip in, bring the foot a little bit closer. Now we're going to push off the back toe as we press overhead. Up and down, up and down, just tapping that toe. Good, show you from this way. Push through, nice big stretch from fingertips to toes. Last two, and good. Now holding here, reach the arms in front. We're gonna take an upper back pull as the knee lifts to the front. Good. So elbows come right behind us. Lot of shoulder work here, so your arms may be feeling it. Stay strong though, and get that knee as high as you can. Good. One more. Nice and high. Fabulous. Take a break here. Other side. Tap it out. So next we're going into a squat reach. Make sure your palms are up and as you reach forward you're going to take it into a squat. Good. So dumbbells coming into waist. Elbows squeeze back, shoulder blades squeeze back. That's from the side. Good. Make sure the weight is back into the heels. You've got two more. Last one at this pace. Then we're going to step it up. Double time for eight, seven, six. Don't let that technique go. Weight in the heels, arms reaching forward. Good, last one. Great stuff, you've got it. Now hold it down, pivot to the right, back heel and hip. Bring the back leg in a little bit. And we're reaching overhead with the left arm on tiptoes, left leg. Good, now the arm is extending slightly forward as though you're reaching for something from a cupboard. And as you're bringing that arm down, make sure knees are soft, you're getting a nice bend through the leg. You should be feeling this all through your left side. That's great, nearly there. Now hold, bring your arms forward out in front, upper back row with a knee lift. Good. Now arms come right back again, elbows come behind, squeeze the shoulder blades. Option to turn this into a balance by not letting the left leg touch the floor. So keeping it up as we reach. Right, we've got four more high knees. Three, two, and one. Take a breath, tap it out. Coming up, we've got a right side leg lift and the left arm is gonna take a bicep curl. 
let's set up the movement. Right leg comes to the side, point the toe. Left arm gets ready for a bicep curl. Good. And we lift the leg and curl the arm. Same time. So this is actually a balance as well. Total body. Great. Make sure you're standing nice and tall. Tummy's pulled in, chin is up. Now you can have that other weight resting on your hip, on your thigh, to add a little bit of resistance to that leg lift as well. Good. Last four lifts now. And three. Two. Last one. Great. Take your right leg behind you into a curtsy lunge pulse. I want you to give me a fly movement from your left arm. So your elbow and arm is coming no higher than your shoulder. So just to shoulder height. Keeping that pulse in the legs. Good, lift the arm, don't throw it. Good, okay, back leg's gonna step forward and the left leg steps back this time, heel is lifted. Nice long lunge position and you're gonna kick those arms back and lunge a little deeper. Good, you want a nice long line from your back heel to the top of your head, lunging nice and deep into that front leg. Now if this lunge position is too much for you, just bring the legs in, hip width apart, and keep the arms going. So you've got that nice extension working the triceps. Good, well done. Tap it out. Great. Now we're going to repeat everything we've just done on the other side, starting with that left side leg lift, right bicep curl. So set up, point the left toe, curl and lift. Standing nice and tall and really engaging those deep core muscles for stabilisation and balance. Don't forget if you want a little bit added resistance, just Pop your weight onto that thigh. Good, two more. Excellent, we're gonna step that left leg back into the curtsy lunge position and pulse. Right arm comes out to the side in a fly. Just a shoulder height. Good, think about using those muscles behind the shoulder blade, the rear delts and keep on pulsing in the legs. Again, another total body exercise. We should be feeling this everywhere. Let's do three more, three, two, last one, good. Come up into that lunge position on the right leg behind, tricep kickback. Good, so make that lunge as long as you can. Think about extending from the heel to the top of the head. Lift those arms, little fingers are nice and high to really work the backs of the arms, the triceps. Good. Okay, so this is our last one. Great, take a break. Make sure you get some water. Great, so moving on, tap it out to begin with. Now if you're using weights, you're going to put them both into your right hand. Come into a split stance with the right leg behind. Good. Now keeping that back foot very light, light on the toes, we're going to come down and up. Good, so split stance squat here. Now if you want a challenge, you're gonna lift that back leg. Good, or you can tap that foot down. So imagine you're picking something up and drawing it into your chest. Reach and pull. Last two here. Then we're gonna come up, separate the weights, 
and our right leg comes up behind us and we're alternating reaching with the arms. Good, so nice tight core. And if you would like a challenge for the last few, you're gonna lift both arms together. So as if you're Superman. Good, make sure you've got a little bend in that standing leg. It will help with the balance. Good, now cross the weights, tap the right leg out to the side and the standing leg has a little bend in it. Now we're gonna circle the right leg as we extend our arms. Tuck the chin slightly and use that inner thigh as you circle round as you cross it over the left leg. Good, elbows are close into your forehead. Last one. Fantastic, tap it out. Good, getting warm now. We're going back to that split stance squat. So turning to the right, left leg back. We've got that reach and row. Barely touch the floor with that left leg. Good, so just balancing on the tippy toes. And if you can, you're gonna try and lift that back leg. Single leg squat. Woo. Hips go back. So this is my much wobblier side. Good, two more here. Last one. Good, now hold. Extend the leg back behind you. Um, we're gonna alternate, or if you want to challenge both arms, lifting forward, that's great. We're coming up to the last few, try double arms. Give yourself a challenge, no challenge, no change. Good, keep on reaching. Good, last one here, try and hold and relax. Brilliant, cross the weights over, tapping that left toe, and we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. Good. So elbows are nice and close to the head, squeezing the backs of the arms, squeezing the inner thigh as you sweep that leg across. Good, just show you from the side, nice and tall, elbows are up to the ceiling. Great, tap it out. So time to really concentrate on the abdominal muscles. Balancing on the left leg, we're gonna bend the right elbow to the right knee. Good, so reach and pull. Now try and get the ankle in line with the knee. So you're at right angles. That's great. Now, if this is too much, I'm gonna show you a modification. Just a little reach and a little tap. So you're still getting that crunch in the side, but it's not such a big lift. Now take that leg behind you, hinge forward. We're gonna see if you can balance while we alternate a single arm row. So this is all about the core. We're really challenging our balance. And remember, no challenge, no change. Good, so I'm really wobbly. Excellent, and relax, tap it out. So we're going to the left side. Here we go, elbow to knee. Keep all your weight in the standing leg. Barely touching the floor with that toe. And if you want a challenge, keep it up. Don't touch the floor. Challenge that balance. Good. Nice big crunch on the side, elbow to thigh. Four more here. Four, three, two. Last one, make it big. Great. Now take that leg behind you, and we've got that row, alternate rows. 
I'm much, much wobblier on this side. <laughs> it's all right though, it's all about challenging yourself, getting yourself out of that comfort zone. <laughs> and really pushing yourself to see what you can do. And if your leg can't get as high, just keep it a centimetre off the floor even. Great, well done. Tap it out. And we're done with the weights now. Pop them down to one side. Once they're away, you're gonna to continue to tap it out. Great, so make sure the chest is nice and high, tummy's pulled in, and we're going to add the arms just sweeping across the chest. Good, lovely. Keep it going. Good, so enjoy this part. This is your recovery. We've got some balance work coming up, and we're also going to be working through the legs. Okay, so walk the feet in, bring your left foot forward and point the toes. Now bend that standing leg slightly to get grounded. Arms are going to extend to the side, fingers wide. Lift your front leg up, bend the knee and extend. Bend, extend, bend. Good. Now as the knee draws in, you're going to draw the abs up and in just a bit tighter. Good, so even though the abs and core is already engaged for balance, think of lifting up in and in a little bit more. Working through the balance, of course, and the legs are engaged too. Now keep that leg extended. We're gonna push the arms back, slowly lower the toe to the floor. Now lift. Down for two, up for two. Down for two, up for two. Keep the arms pulsing. Draw in and up with those abs, pumping the arms, trying to push yourself off balance to work the core. You're not going anywhere though, that core is super, super strong. Up and down for two. Good, last lift here. And down. Great. Take a second and set it up on the other leg. So first of all, we've got that lift, bend, extend. Bend and extend. Good, draw the abs in and up. Keep that core tight. Reach the leg nice and long. Really lengthen it through the big toe. Now, if you can't get your leg as high as this, it doesn't matter. It might just be an inch off the floor. As long as you're working and you're working to your own level, that's fantastic. Remember, no challenge, no change. Good, now we're gonna extend the leg to the floor and get ready to pump those arms. Lift the leg for two and down for two. Find that balance. Engage deeply through your abdominals. Lift and lower. Good, now make sure you're not leaning back. Shoulders over the hips. Nearly there. We've got our last two lifts. And down and lift last time. And down. Tap it out. Great job. So from here, you're going, we're gonna rotate a little bit more and get into our obliques, into the waist. So I want you to circle your right leg again. So that leg sweeps across and back, across and back. Now bring your hands to the temples and we're gonna see if we can turn into that leg. Good, so this is where the balance comes in. The core needs to be engaged. It's a lot trickier than it looks. Standing knee is slightly bent. Keep bracing the abs in towards your spine. Okay, so we've got six more. Five. 
four, three, two, last one. Good, now keeping with the obliques, we've got those standing side crunches again. Elbow to knee. Find your balance. Good. Pull and tap. Pull, tap. So barely touch the floor with that toe. If you want a challenge, keep that leg floating. So don't touch the floor. So we've got seven more. Pull, tap. Five, four, three, two, last one. Amazing, tap it out. So we're gonna set up the leg circles on the other side. We're gonna balance on the right and circle with the left leg. So remember, it's just very light on the toe tip, that circle. Now hands are going to come to the temples. Keep circling with the leg and turn. I'm a lot wibblier on this side. Keep turning into that leg. Engage the core. Standing leg has that slight bend in it to help you keep more grounded. Brace the abs and relax the shoulders. Try not to tense through the upper body. Okay, so seven more, six, five, just four more, three, two, last one. Okay, so we go straight into that oblique crunch, leaning to the side, elbow to knee, up, tap. Good, so remember, barely touch the floor with that toe. Remember, if you need to hold on to something, you can do. That's great. So modification here, again, little pull, little tap. You don't need to be getting your leg as high. You don't need to reach overhead if that's not suitable. Great, keep it going. If you can, get that ankle in line with your knee. Last one here. Good, walk it out, take a breath. Give those legs a little breather. If you want to grab a quick drink, you do have a couple of seconds here to do that. Turn to the right now. Left leg is going to step back, point the toes. And both arms are going to come up. Inhale, lift the knee and exhale down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, down, extend. In, extend. Good. Now as you lift the knee, arms push back. From the front here, lift Round and scoop the back. Good. Inhale down. Exhale up. Really rounding the back. Scooping it up. Good. So we're rounding because your abs are contracting here. So this is almost like an ab crunch, but we're standing up. Crunch. Push those arms back to work the backs of the arms as well. From here, our left leg stays back and we're going to raise the right arm. Now lift and extend, seeing if you can hold that extension. Now pitch forward from the hips, slow and controlled. Forward for two, lifting up. Now I know that standing leg is talking. Keep that little bend in it to keep you grounded. Try to keep a nice long line from the back toe to the fingertips. Good, up for two, down for two.
That's good. Last one here. One more. Amazing. Walk it out. So we're going to set that standing crunch balance up on the other side. Now remember it's a slow controlled motion. We inhale up and extend back. Now there is the option to step it up and make it more challenging by floating the back leg. So toes don't touch the floor. You're constantly balancing. Deep breaths. Round and extend. Last few here, I want you to focus on that contraction through the abdominals. Make it really go deep. Last chance to work it with this exercise. Good. Last one. Stay here, leg extended, and take the left arm long. Find your center. Hinge it forward, good. Keep the body in alignment. So the shape of our body isn't actually changing, we're just pitching forward and lifting it back and up. This is such a good balance challenge. And remember, if you can't get that back foot that high, just even lifting it an inch and balancing for two seconds is great, as long as that is at your level. Good, find that focus point. I'm having problems, my legs are tired. If you lose your balance, it doesn't matter, just keep it going. Good, that was our last one. Tap it out. Take a breather, give those legs a rest. That's great. So we're gonna take a little break now. Have a sip of water. So coming back to our workout, we're going straight into butt kicks. Heels nice and high. And add the arms, cross it over, pull it back. Good, just getting warm again after our little break. So we're gonna keep working through the obliques, moving into a standing bicycle variation. Take this leg forward, point the toes, and I want you to bend the knee and make a circle bit like the move a horse makes with its leg and hoof. When you're ready, fingertips come to the temples. And we add a twist into the leg, away from the leg. Get ready when you feel you're able to, when you've got that balance, when you've got the motion. This takes focus. It's a hard move. <laughs> I'm super wobbly too but it's all about keeping going. If you wobble, if you get off balance, take a moment and start again from the front. In and in. Keep alternating, one elbow in and one elbow in. Circle that leg. Give me one more. Amazing. Back to those butt kicks. We're gonna go into the balance on the other leg. So set it up. Standing bike. Good, circle that leg. Fingertips go to temples. And when you're ready, turn it in. Either side. Good, so you have to be really coordinated. Great, so we're really challenging that core. Keeping the leg moving, twisting, and you should have one side that's slightly better. <laughs> that's it. Good, we've got two more. And relax. 
From here, we're just gonna take a breather, crossing the leg over, just sweeping it across the body. And from here, we're gonna change the arms with a little press as we come in. Now lift the leg and tap that inner calf or thigh if you can't reach. So just take it to your level if you can't reach the calf, the thigh will do, the inner thigh. Good, just getting a little bit more movement back to the body. Still working the obliques with that twist though. Good, try and get that leg across to engage the inner thighs. And we're going to tap it out. Take your feet out wide, toe tap. So we're going to come into a wide squat position. Down, halfway up, down. Good. Now we're going to take the arms into a little bow and arrow position next. And we're going to pull down and reach. So there's a rotation as we bend the elbow to the thigh. Now remember, you don't have to come as low into the squat. You could just do a little squat, getting those hips back, pushing into the heels. Or if you'd rather, you don't need to squat at all, just do the arm movement. You're still working the abdominals and the obliques. Last two here, last one. Good, now we're gonna take it down and hold and squat, full squat, up and down, up and down. Now we're gonna do the other side. Set up your bow and arrow arms and we twist, elbow to thigh. Keep that squat as low as you can. Good, reach, rotate. Deep breaths. You're doing fantastic. Good. Three more here. Two. Last one. Great. Take it down. Hold and pulse. It's not over. Good. Now from here, we're going to take it into a narrow squat. So legs come in. Don't come up though. Keep pulsing and we're going to start lifting both arms and alternate legs. Lift and change legs. Good. Change legs. Now in between you're coming back to that narrow squat. So lift, squat, lift, squat. Good. So you want to think about going low, and high, extend. Last squat here. Good, now hold and pulse. Down, down, from the front, you stay. Good. Now stay in that narrow squat. We're gonna make a circle with the arms. Now come up, down, around. Now I'm still in that squat. And we've got a nice little chop across the body to work the abdominals. Still staying down in the legs. Good, this is our very last bit of work. Keep going, one more. Tap it out. Good. So we're starting now to cool it down. Bring the arms across the body. Good, just tap it out. Open up the chest. Good, side stretch, right side only. Reach it and pull it down to the hip. Reach and pull. So staying on the right, opening up in between the ribs. Good, change sides on the left. That's great, reach and down. Tap it out. Take some nice deep inhales, hold it, stretch it at the top 
and when you're ready, exhale it down. Inhale, big stretch at the top, and exhale. Roll the shoulders backwards, still tapping it out, just cooling down the body. Fantastic. Workout is done. We've got a cool down and stretch coming up next. Now this does include some floor work. Okay, so we go straight into a squat. Inhale and exhale. Now bring it forward in a forward bend. If you can, hands touch the floor. Walk it to the right, to the left. Take those hands round, back to the right. Holding it here for a few seconds. Good, now we're gonna raise the left arm up if that's comfortable for you. Good, so we're stretching into the upper body. Now if you can't reach the floor, take it to below the knee or wherever you're able to. Walk it to the left this time. Hold it here for a few seconds and raise the right arm. Good, now you can look up at your fingertips if that's comfortable for your neck. Good, arm down, walk it back to the right. Good, now we're coming into a standing hamstring stretch. Legs stay in that split stance squat and if you can, fingertips still into the floor. Now we're just gonna bend the knees and come up. Lift the back heel, bend and up. Again, bend and up. So you're gonna continue that at your own pace for a few more seconds, just bending and coming up. Good, now we're gonna move into a low lunge. Front leg is gonna to bend to 90 degrees and back leg moves further out. We're gonna come forward onto the toes and back into the heel. Forward and back. Good, now raise the left arm. Again, you can look at your fingertips or if it's more comfortable for your neck, stay looking at the floor. Bring the arm down and we're gonna walk into the middle. So back leg is still long, heel is down, toes are up, foot is flexed. Good, hold it here and we're coming up, back into that forward bend, pushing the hips and the bottom back and just grasp the elbows and enjoy hanging, pushing into the heels. Great, now we're going to the other side, standing hamstring stretch. You're in that split stance, holding it here. Now if it's comfortable for your knees, we're gonna take that bend. Down and up, nice and controlled. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can always stay in that splint stance, still stretching. Good, now we're gonna take it into a low lunge. Back leg steps back, bend the front knee. Good, and we're gonna raise the right arm to the ceiling, reaching up with the fingertips. If it's comfortable for your neck, you can look up, otherwise stay facing the ground. Good, arm comes down, walk it to the center. We've got an inner thigh and calf stretch. So that back leg stays out. Heel down, flex foot. If you can balance, bring the arms to the front. Chest is high. Good. And next we're gonna come into that forward bend, holding it in the centre here. Hands wrap around elbows, and if it's comfortable, we're just gonna hang loose. Good. You can always straighten the back, come down a bit further. Just make this your own. So you can come upon the fingertips and really try and extend through the back. Now we're gonna lift the arms and hold it here and down. Both arms up and reach it forward as if you're trying to grab something in front of you, someone's passing you something like a beach ball. Come down, last time. Good, and bring it up, all the way up, and take it over onto your bum, onto a mat. 
Great, so we're starting with a figure of four stretch. Cross over your leg and pull the thigh gently in towards you. Holding it here, so really squeeze the thigh in. Feel that stretch on the outer thigh and into the butt cheek. Good, it's like giving yourself a cuddle, this one. That's it. Great stuff. And um, we're going to switch legs. Change it over. Bring the other leg in. Nice big cuddle. Good. Now make sure you're sitting nice and tall out of those seat bones. And you're really pulling that knee into the chest to get the most out of the stretch. Into one of my favourite stretches, the seated straddle. Legs are going to come nice and wide. So take them out as far as you can get them. Sitting tall, reach it up high. And hinging from the hips, we bring it forward. Hands touch the toes if they can. Otherwise, it's fine to have the hands on the shins or the thighs. Now keep reaching through the top of the head. Try not to bend the back. Lovely. And you can bring your hands to the middle, resting the elbows on the floor if you can. Good. Now walk it in. Seated side bends. We're going to come over to the right side. Left side reaches. Good. Down and back up. Similar to what we did when we were standing. And switch sides. Reaching that right arm over. Down and back. Lovely. Good. And take it down, holding it. This is one of my favourites, so we're here for a few more seconds. If you can, walk those fingertips a little bit further forward. Push those hips back. Good. Now shake the legs out. And we're going to stand up and circle the arms backwards. Good. Getting the blood flowing again. Getting some movement in the body. Bend the knees. Super. Stretching through the arms now after using those weights. We're going to take one arm down between our shoulder blades and just easing it back with the other arm. Good. Keep the top of the arm nice and close. Standing tall. And switch arms. Good. Just gently pull that elbow a little bit closer. Tummy in. Chest up high. Breathing. Good. And let's stretch out the shoulder and the top of the back. Bring one arm over and just gently pull it in. Look over the shoulder and make sure the shoulder is down. It shouldn't be up by your chin. Switch arms. Gently pull it in. Shoulder away from the chin, away from the ear. Good. We are so nearly finished. Full body stretch now. Reach it up onto the tiptoes. Nice deep breath and you are done. Fantastic work. Thank you so much for joining in today. It was a long one. And please do subscribe to my channel. I hope to release a video a week. And let me know what you would like. Take care.